Hi, in this third chapter on the series of lectures, basics of databases and SQL, we're going to talk about data extraction operations. So this is the third chapter on the sixth chapter series, data extraction. So data extraction operations is basically talking about how we can get the information from the database. These are usually performed using some mathematical operations. So there are two types of mathematical operations we can use. The first type is the set operations and the second type is the relational operations. And these two sets of mathematical operations can be subdivided into their individual operators. For the set operations, we have union, difference, intersection, product. And for the relational operations, we have projection, join, selection, and division. So now let's take a look at the first uh, operator under the set notation. So the union operator essentially performs a extraction on all items in both tables. So giving an example of two tables shown here, if we perform a union operation is similar to a plus operation in linear algebra, we will get a answer that looks on the right table. So basically, we will combine all the items from both, pa both tables together. But taking note that the common items on the durian shown over here are not duplicated. So they will actually combine but not duplicate the items. So in the union, operation can also be represented in the Venn diagram of the linear algebra. So for this Venn diagram, the union operation basically is a combination of all the items in the two sets uh, represented in the two circles, the table's values. So the second operation is the difference, where it actually extracts the rows from just one of the tables. Uh, this is a little bit uh, tricky to understand, so what we'll do is we will actually take a look at one example. So if we perform a difference of version on these two tables again, so notice that what we'll get is the answer on the bottom table. Why is that so? Because when we actually perform the difference operator, we are actually looking at the items that are in the first table but are not in the second table. So this is the result of the difference operator. So in the Venn diagram format, we can actually see this clearly. A, the difference operation is represented by the yellow shaded portion of the Venn diagram. The third operator that we are going to look at is the intersection operator. It basically extracts the information that are included in both tables. So let's say using the same two tables, we have an uh, intersection operator and the result will be the record on durian. So why is this so? Because if we take a look at the two tables, the common operator is actually the durian. Durian is the common data. So that is the result of your intersection operation. And in the Venn diagram format, this is what we'll see. The durian will be the yellow shaded area, the result of the intersection operation. The final operator of the set notations uh, operations is the product operator. So in this 
product operator assuming we have three tables shown on the screen so the three tables are executed on the product operator and the result will be something like this where we actually combine all the information together into a single table so notice that in this product operator the result will actually have quite a number of uh, duplications of information such as your apple or your berry because we actually combine the information into a single table so we are actually doing the opposite of what we've learned the denormalization operation okay we combine everything into a single table so this is seldom used in the database operations okay for the second set of uh, data extraction operations we have the relational operations the projection selection join and division these are more commonly used in databases so the first operation we will take a look at is the projection so projection basically extracts a column from a table so given the example shown on the table so if we perform a projection on this table we will get the result of a single column for example the price column so the projection operator is a vertical operation the next operator we will take a look at it is the selection operator this is a very common operation used in databases nowadays it extracts the rows from a table and if we have the same table shown on the screen when we perform a selection operator this is the results and the selection operator is basically a horizontal operation the join operator essentially as the name suggests joins two tables together so assuming you have these two tables shown on the screen if we perform a join operator we will get the table shown below where we actually combine the two table informations together and notice that we have the common information on the product ID that is the primary key in the final table and the combination of the four record four fields the product price country and transport together and the fourth operator is the division operator where we actually extract the rows whose columns match the second table and this is best illustrated by an example so supposedly we have these two tables if we wish to divide the first table by the second table so the result will be the just the answer on the transport air so why is this so because in the division operator we are essentially looking for the common information between the two tables so in this case the common rows are the product ID 1 Apple and product ID 2 Berry and the common transport in this case is the air so this is the result that is been given in the division operation so uh, let's wrap up with a very short quiz so given this uh, the two tables the tables on the left the before and the table on the right after the operation so can you give the name of this operation uh, indicated by the green arrow so that you can actually get a chiku row from the table on the left and the next question is uh, if you perform a select operation on this table shown below with the product ID equals to 4 so what will be the answer okay thank you that's the end of this chapter